Here you can see what is called, uh, looks like a dandelion. And, <laughs> oh, puppies, I'm trying to explain something about these pollinators. Anyway, these are cat's ears dandelions or false dandelion or whatever. Anyway, they're very small, low to the ground, and their leaves, these are their leaves. They don't really look like a dandelion leaf, and they're soft, and they have a cat's ear. That's why they're called cat's ear dandelion. But they're very low to the ground. The leaf part of them stays way down below your lawn mowing level. But there's loads of them here, and it's great for the pollinators. And this is the embankment that I have the crocuses on for the January, February pollinators to eat. So it's a, a wonderful embankment that it also has this wonderful uh, creeping clover or yellow clover that the bumblebees love. And you can see there's purple clover and, but it's mostly for these, which are the cat's ear dandelion or cat's ear plant. And you can see that there's loads of them all the way along here. I haven't planted them. The bank is very shallow in soil and it's perfect for the cat's ear. You can see there's loads of it all the way along here and fantastic for pollinators. There's one right there. Oh, it's gone away. Um, so you can see it's a mixture of the creeping clover is that little stuff and this. Oh, there we go. There's a pollinator. Speak of the devil and the devil appears. Oh. <laughs> and the puppies appear. So it is a pollinator's paradise full of, and the more pollinators you have, the more birds you have because it's food for the birds as well. So it is loads and loads of these cat's ear dandelions that I always call them. I know it's wrong because they're called false dandelion. But you can see there's Speedwell here as well. So there's Speedwell with Speedswell, Cat's Ear, and Purple Clover, and some Daisies, and some Puppies. Having a gas time. So there is another species for you to learn about for pollinators.